Hello Cancer, I am G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. Today is all about love. This is your extended love focus, Cancer, for the month of September 2018. Honestly, Cancer, I feel like a lot of this energy is going to go into the first week of October for you. And I, because I feel like this is all going to happen around that full moon. We have a full moon with Aries coming towards the end of September. Even though we're still going to be dealing with that full moon in Pisces at the beginning of September, we come in emotional. We're going out with straightforward thinking. Expression. Self-expression. So, guys, if you would like a personal reading, go to g1insights.org. Okay? Your reading is beautiful, but is... There's a lot of sensitivity here, a lot of different emotions, okay? A lot of different emotions. So, Cancer, this card right here struck out to me the most because this could either mean that you guys have experienced a really bad breakup a really bad uh, broken heart. You may have experienced this in the past or it could have been something like recently, like within the last few months or the last year or so, or it could even have been the last two years. It was, it was something that was very hurtful. For some of you, this may happen this season, okay? So it's like, just as you begin to get everything in motion, just as you begin to push everything through, and I just feel you guys' energy is so heavy. You guys are walking, a lot of you are going to be walking around happy about one thing, but sad about another. Happy about maybe even two things, but sad about another. Maybe you're missing someone. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's close friends. Maybe um, it's a lover. Maybe it's an ex-lover. Maybe you're going to be thinking about this ex. Or maybe this ex won't leave you alone. And for a lot of you, this is definitely someone who has broken your heart. Or maybe some type of situation will basically be very hurtful. Um, and you will be very sad about it. You won't like it at first, okay? And I'm sorry, Cancer. I hate to start out a reading this way. I do not like to provide um, sad or depressing or negative, bad readings. And, it's, and it's, <sighs> it's not really bad, I feel. I feel like you guys just need to... Um, if you haven't already, for some of you, you are still learning your lesson from dealing with this individual. For some of you, you're still thinking about this person or this person won't stop calling or texting you or vice versa. Maybe it's you that won't stop calling them. Maybe it's you that won't move forward and move on with your life. Cancer, you have a really bad habit of you know, staying stuck in the past, reminiscing a lot, you know. Sometimes situations happen in our life and it is a clear sign for us to just let something go. Let a individual go. But because we are so human and we love so strongly and so passionately, it is hard for us sometimes to just let it go okay now for some of you I feel like you are on the verge of just breaking free you want something new you are so tired of this that you are just like look I am ready to run okay I am ready to release this person I'm ready to walk away I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of sitting up all night wondering why she's not calling me. I'm tired of wondering why he doesn't come home to me at night. 
You know, I'm tired of thinking that I can't trust you because you might lie to me or you might steal from me like the last person did or you might break my heart or you might hit on me, you know, and I feel like a lot of you suffered through enough. Okay, and I just feel like a lot of you are really standing your ground saying enough is enough. If you're not going to be home with me, if you're not going to love me and respect me, if you're not going to be the man or the woman that I need you to be, I am not dealing with you. Okay, because like I said, for a lot of you, this energy is going to play out differently because for some of you, this is about an ex. For some of you, this is about someone new. For some of you, you're having trust issues with a new individual. For some of you, you are possibly running this person away. For some of you, you can be um, holding on to this person that is really no good for you, okay? And so, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I see retreat, but I also see the guardian of the gate. Aquarius also got this similar energy, dear love. So if you perhaps have or maybe dealing with an Aquarius person, please check out their love focus, okay? If you have Aquarius in your birth chart as a sun, moon, rising, or even Venus in Aquarius, then this message may also be for you. Maybe you have Cancer in Aquarius in your birth chart as a sun, moon, and rising, or Venus. Maybe you have Venus in Cancer, but maybe you're a Aquarius moon sign. Maybe you're a Cancer rising, but have Aquarius as your sun sign. I mean, I don't know. I just like for some of you, the energy is going to be a little bit of everything. For some of you, this is going to be like, go for it, have fun, you know, take that risk, take that leap of faith. For some of you, you are still very frightened. For some of you, you are are not sure if you want to let this person go or if you want to run away with this person. For some of you, you might just want to stay fucking single. And maybe this person just won't leave you the hell alone. I mean, I don't know. Because I do see release your ex here, dear love. Look at this person. They look fucking exhausted. <laughs> like, they're tired of going through this. Like, why every time I date a woman, she lies to me? Or she doesn't give me the love or the affection that I need? Or well, why every time I meet a woman, she thinks that, you know, life is all about her? Why every time I meet a man, he's, you know, putting his hands on me? He's abusing me mentally, physically, or emotionally. Why can't I be with a man that just simply embrace me? You know, or maybe, you know, maybe you're just fed up being with a loser. You're being fed up with dealing with someone who can't necessarily provide for you or do really anything for you. Maybe you're tired of always being the one to provide. Maybe you're looking for that one to help nurture and provide for you and your kids and to, to do what you need to do. And this person is just draining your energy. Maybe you realize that, you know, you're a lot happier. Without this individual, this is definitely someone who drains your energy. And a lot of you are holding on to this person. And some of you are sick of this fucking person. Like, you don't want them in your life. You don't want them calling you. But for some reason, they just won't leave you the hell alone. Okay? So, like I said, for each and every one of you, this energy is going to play out differently. Okay? Now, the thing is this. For a lot of you, this could even be about religious issues. Maybe you guys used to fight over religious issues. You know, they won't go to church with you. Or maybe you're Muslim or maybe they are Muslim. And maybe they have strict rules about something. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like you guys are feeling like you had to march to the beat of their drum instead of yours. A lot of you felt feel like, well, I want to be in control. But every time I turn around, it's like they're trying to control me. Um, or I feel like I can't fully live my life because I'm always doing something for them. And this, if, for some of you, this could be a new person and it may not be any of that. This could just be simply that you're suffering from a heartbreak and you're trying to move forward. Like for some of you, you want to take that risk. You want to take that leap of faith, but this broken heart may be holding you back. Okay. So for each and every one of you, this energy is going to play out differently. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Either way, your archangels are saying, look, you know, 
Pay attention. Look at things from a different perspective. You know, it could just be temporary. Some of you might separate. Separate, excuse me. <laughs> I realized that I just said that crazy. Okay, so for some of you, you may separate. And I don't feel like this is like a bad breakup. This person may just go away temporarily, okay? Um, or maybe you just will not be able to see this person for a while. For some of you, this is going to be very sad because it's like you have no family. For some of you, your family are far away. And for some of you, you're just really sitting back thinking like, I can't believe this shit is happening, you know? And so this is about being awakened, you know, being aware of what's happening in your surrounding, you know, area, like taking a, a deeper look at your life and why things are unfolding the way that they are. It's not that you are not blessed. Okay, it's not that you are not entitled to be happy. It has nothing to do with that. This is just simply about making better choices. And sometimes when we are in love, we do make some fucked up as decisions. Okay, and so this is really about learning from that experience. Okay. Remember, dear love, it is important to be your Okay, if you feel like you are constantly compromising your belief and your belief system and, you know, because I feel like that is why religious factors came out because I feel like a lot of you are compromising your belief system for this individual, whether it be, you know, let's not go to church today, um, I don't want to pray, or maybe this person just wants you to pray a little too fucking much. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like this is a situation that some of you may need to walk away from, or um, this can be an individual that you may need to pray or gain some type of strength to just, you know, let it go, okay? Either way, you know, especially with this energy being here, like I said, for each and every one of you, I'm not saying that all of you are going to have a, break in, a broken heart, okay? Because like I said, this is very general. So for some of you, you may have already experienced that. And maybe this, maybe you're having a hard time letting this person go. Or maybe they are having a hard time letting you go. Maybe you could be out with your new chick. And maybe your ex won't stop calling. And maybe your new chick is getting mad about it. <laughs> it could be, you know, even if you're a, a, a woman. Maybe your ex-man just won't stop. Maybe he just won't, you know, give up. <laughs> so, either way, dear love, you know. This is basically like a, like some type of darkness or emptiness and or grief filled tear, okay? So for some of you, this is definitely reminiscent, thinking about family or lost loved ones. You could just be simply thinking about the past and how this person had hurt you. You know, either way, there is a need, dear love, to heal, okay? So that's probably also why religious factors came out because this is probably going to be the time where you will be reflecting on a lot and be wanting to change all of that. Like maybe you want to get away from it all, okay? So yes, there is a deep need to heal. It is time, dear love, to release the person or the situation involved. It's time for you to vent, to speak your mind, to speak your feelings. This is a time for you to basically affirm, dear love, or reaffirm, okay, that you are reclaiming your strength. You are reclaiming your peace of mind. You are reclaiming your power. Open your heart. Open your mind. Open your soul, dear love. Open your heart to the light of divine love and healing. Focus on compassion for yourself. And for maybe your children, or maybe just this entire situation, or for everyone that may be involved. Focus on compassion and healing yourself through this difficult process. I feel like this season for a lot of us really is all about, you know, self-care, you know, and doing better for ourselves, treating ourselves with care, treating ourselves better, loving ourselves first more than anything, okay? 
make self-care a priority. Because as you let go of old experiences, you can open your heart to the true and abiding new love. Okay, or any type of love that you feel like you really just deserve, okay? So that is why it is saying release your ex, honey. Some of you are still holding on to your ex. For some of you that are married, he'll take time to heal those old wounds. Work on your marriage. Focus on forgiveness and compassion. You may need to just get away. Some of maybe one or maybe if both of you, maybe you guys had an affair with someone else. And maybe you're in a space right now where you just want to forgive each other and love one another. See, open your heart. Open your heart, dear love. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Sorry, guys, my cars are getting jacked up, too. You see that? Look at that right there. You see this? I need to get some new decks. All right, so. But this is also about rebuilding trust. You know, and that's probably why the garden and the gate came out, because this is definitely about taking that risk. You know, things looking beautiful, wanting to do something new, wanting to do something exciting, falling back in love. And maybe you're nervous, right? Maybe you're just like, oh, my God, this woman is amazing. You know, but ugh, that's the problem. Maybe she's too fucking amazing, right? And maybe you're afraid. Dear love, so open your heart and mind to those around you. Focus on trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Be compassionate. This person is someone who is well-respected, trustworthy, compassionate, very cultured, someone who can also be uh, extremely religious, someone who loves spirituality. But dear love, you know, I feel like for a lot of you, you're either dealing with an individual with a broken, uh, a woman with a broken heart, or you may be the woman that has a broken heart, okay? Because I do see a lot of feminine energy here, okay? Look at this. Look how beautiful that is, right? So this is a woman like, look, you know, here's my heart. Treat it like it's yours. Appreciate me. Love me. Respect me. You know, here is my heart. It's all beautiful. You know, don't don't take me back to this place because I don't want to go there. I want to feel loved. I want to feel secure. But I'm giving you my heart. I'm giving you my heart. Don't break it. So for a lot of you cancer women, this can literally be just a simple reflection of yourself. This is learning to love you all over again. This is a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion, receptivity for love, or it just might be a simple message that maybe your family issues are going to resolve. So whatever issues you are having with family members or with a spouse or with your husband or your, your lady, if you're gay, I guess, right? Whoever it is that you're dealing with or whatever issues you guys might have, that broken heart, dear love, that broken heart is going to heal. So like I said, for each and every one of you, this energy is going to be different, my love. This can also be a female friend. This may be helping out a female friend. Or if you're a cancer man, maybe you are dating a female with that reflexes energy, right? This can also indicate that this is... Some type, of, I just feel like this is some type of feminine energy here. Like there's a female around, okay? Or this may be a woman who has been there and done that, that is here to guide you on how to treat these women, okay? Or how to um, treat this woman that you're currently seeing. 
This could be a female friend, a teacher, or someone that you just confide in, okay? Someone that is going to be here to help you with issues of love, family, or even emotion. This is in... I don't know. I just feel like this could be somebody who's emotionally stable to maybe like an earth sign. Okay. But this is definitely someone with even tempered emotions, someone who is very caring, someone who understands you on a deeper level. Okay. So if this is your, if you're a cancer man, then this could be you dating a woman who understands you emotionally, who is sensitive enough to let you just cry on their shoulders, you know? A woman who is strong enough to handle your deep emotions. This could also be a new love coming your way or a new friend. So if you are single, this definitely could represent a new love, okay? Or maybe someone that will enter your life soon, sooner than you think. Now, for some of you, this could be also emotionally overwhelmed. Again, release your exes there, and so is that broken heart. So for some of you, this could be, you know, being over emotionally overwhelmed. Or maybe you feel like your love life is turned upside down. This could also refer to difficulty in some type of family situation or some type of love affair or close relationships or friendships. Whatever it is, it's definitely time to let go or resolve things, okay? There's also some type of possibility that this woman is someone who might be bringing a lot of emotional negative energy into your life, okay? Someone who reminds you of everything you do not want. So if you're a cancer man, you may want to consider that. There might be a lot of jealousy with this woman. She might be too possessive. Maybe she's just as possessive as you. Or maybe this is you, if you're a cancer woman. Maybe you are being very negative or jealous or feeling resentment towards this person for leaving you all the time. Don't take things personally, though, is what I feel. Like, do not take things personal because this is a strong individual. So, ooh, ooh, you guys see that? You didn't say anything? Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm sorry, guys. I had to blow that one out. Oh, my God. What is going on? <laughs> that never happens. Oh, my God. Love, I'm telling you, is something else. So, I'm going to let that dry before I move it. Do you guys see this? Look, 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 look. Oh, my, oh, my. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See what you did to my, my candles, Cancer? You see what you did? All right. So, dear love, this energy here, though, guys, you got to take the risk, man. If you feel like this person is no good for you, if you feel like you're always being stressed out, or if you feeling like you just want something new, you got to do it. You got to follow your heart because things can be beautiful. They are beautiful, but a lot of you are just holding on, okay? Don't be so intimidated by things that you've been through in the past that you don't break free from this nonsense, okay? You and I both know that this is not a good relationship to be in for some of you and I don't mean all of you okay for some of you this is just not the one man it's not I'm telling you it's not so if you're feeling like you're afraid to walk away from this person because you feel like you may never find a good man again or if you feel like you may not never find another good woman that's bullshit and you and I both know that okay you gotta have confidence my love okay now, the Ten of Earth did come out, so it lets me know that overall, something amazing is on the horizon.
Okay, the Ten of Earth in traditional tarot deck is the Ten of Pentacles. So it's all about fun and money and love and success and marriage and everything else in between. This represents a lot of material fun, a lot of wealth, a lot of harmony, a lot of peace, a lot of just pleasant memories to be built, dear love. So, re, you know, heal yourself, rebuild your foundation, start over, you know, do something you've never done. Okay, so I love you, Cancer. I love you for your beautiful energy, even though you, your energy kind of messed up my candle here. I love you anyway. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next month with your October focus. Love you.